When Women Speak. And New Jersey Poetry Events presents When, when People, People Speak. speak. Poetry and, and conversation, conversation with Pop Up Poetry Gas. Your host will be Amira Shabazz Balau. And your co host, James C. Ellerby. So we're going to move when people speak right along. We have a fabulous poet coming up. James, who might that be? Yeah, um, yes, we definitely, definitely got a fabulous poet coming up. And her name is none other than Nourish Cruz. Um, she's been waiting in the VIP room. So, and there she is. Let's bring her on up. Nourish, how are you doing? Good, good. Good to see you guys. Thank you for having me on. Hey, Miss Cruz. It kind of smells around here since you got on the stage. It smells of a new author, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what you, hot, what, hot off the press. Hot off the press. What is the name of that book? Who shot the rose? Oh, who, who shot, shot the, the rose? Yes. So, um, for sure. After after we're done. Can you kindly put that information in the live stream so people will know where to purchase your um your book? Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll throw it up there too on on the screen for the people too as well. But as always, we want to give our artists their flowers, and I want to give the people a little bit about who this wonderful, talented poet by the name of Nourish Cruz. Uh, she graduated advanced theater class at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts of Manhattan, New York in 2006. Uh, she won a spot on the New Jersey Youth Slam competition team in, also in 2006. And she completed, uh, competed, excuse me, at the Youth Poetry Nationals in New York a finalist in Russell Simmons' Vote or Die, which allowed her to perform at the... Sovereign the, Bank Arena. Yeah, Sovereign, <laughs> Sovereign Blank, Bank Arena, excuse me, in 2008, and as a result was given an award of honor by the Attorney General. Um, I mean, your accolades goes on and on, um, I had the privilege of being in a South Jersey slam with you that you actually won. I know that um, was crazy. <laughs> that, it, look, and that was uh, one of the best uh, poetry slams that I've ever been in. in and it was an honor to, to share the same stage with you. But enough, enough about your accolades. Let's show these people why you're one of my favorite poets to listen to. Let me at this time leave the stage. I, I definitely felt like the underdog that day, by the way. Oh, like, stop it. Stop it. Stop I it. felt stop honored it. to be on stage with all of you guys. Look, Nourish is the Seriously. best kept secret in Jersey. I yes, will she is. That. Well, let's let let's let the secret out of the bag. Let's get off the stage. All right. All right. So I'm gonna read a little poem from my book. Um, you know, we have like writing um workshops and things. And um, they, there was one exercise where um, we were taught to find images and just any picture online or whatnot and uh, try to write a poem about it. So there was one story um, or one picture of this little boy just sitting in this pile of rubble in Syria um, after a bomb strike. And it made me um, come up with this poem. Did you hear the church bell break, the bomb that shook Syria, the boy crying under the rubble? Have you heard the caravan of footsteps, the bodies falling, the gas hissing? Did you hear the screams of virgin girls in India, the chains of concentration cramps in Cuba, China, the refrigerator of reverberation in vacant Venezuela, the trash being rummaged for food, the bellies rumbling. Did you hear the jail cell slam shut, the racist cop eyes open, 
the system show it's broken, truth finally spoken. Did you hear the soldier's flag drop, the sound of his metal leg dragging against the pavement, the gas when the federal government missed their payment? Did you hear the newspaper churning, the politicians laughing, the money being counted, the silenced, the speechless, the sin? Thank you. That poem is called uh, Shouting. So basically, try to accumulate all the sounds and things that we're hearing around the world, um, all the travesties. Um, but yeah. All right. So I'm going to do another poem. Um, since you guys are talking about jazz and music earlier, I'm going to do one of my throwbacks. It's called Subway Symphony. Um, when I actually went to that theater college, um, you know, in the city, you see all these subway, um, homeless people in the subway playing music to make money. So I wrote this poem. It's called Subway Symphony. I caught his illness in the carbon because all the trees were rolled and smoked. I caught his famine in the Big Apple Madison Garden because Adam and Eve had sinned and choked. I caught the cold shivers in the shoulders. I caught the shivers in the cold shoulders he got from the rich. As if it wasn't bad enough, his blanket was minimized to a stitch. I caught some rain that slid off his tongue from his lips and put it into the empire state of his cataract eyes so he could look up into the sky scrapers and see a CNN billboard of Hurricane Katrina's, Hurricane Maria's sad puddle. I caught some change and flipped it into the wishing well of his palm and wished him well with a psalm, said God bless you and there was no rebuttal. He was a resident of the underground studio caves where ears showed they love sound waves, produced and played, reduced or paid, if impressed. See, I caught a smile when he heard him please and thank you after my favorite subway jam request. But there was embedded passion in his wrinkled fingers. Saw the history of an assassin in his knuckles and wrinkled fingers. The subway passing, but the Please stay clear of the closing doors and urine smell still lingers. Poverty, a melody, a symphony of. I caught his heartbeat in a rush hour traffic footsteps on Yankee chewing gum, New York Times littered pavement. I caught the angry, scared, heavy breathing in prison, do your time square in a cardboard box enslavement. As blood leaks like piss down the broken cracks from the enemies of those who pack their guardian angels in their slacks. Uptown, downtown, crosses on stolen chains, bloody t-shirts triggering past crimes in the brain. He's tapping on trash cans while you're jamming to your iPod on a train, struggling to make some change that he's been trying to change. But even if he put on a suit and tie today, he couldn't put an address on a resume Give them a pay phone number to call today. Poverty, a melody, a symphony of change in plastic cups and handcuffs. Spare me some change or give me all your money sounds like music. I caught him playing soul music. The last possible notes off broken strings and rusty horns to personify the beauty that could still come out of his deteriorating body. Playing blues singing the pink back into his cheeks, the purple off his lips, the red out his eyes till his last verse turned people green with envy and made them forget for two beats that he was just a poor man. And while he captured them, I caught him, beat up some dude that stole his quarter, that looked at him like he was less than human, that spit on his cardboard house, that thought he deserved that he would use the money on drugs instead of food. I caught him beat music into faces and in perfect melody like note paper, sculpt every eviction's profile into the Republican that had no rhythm in his chest with his fist and yell, I exist and sit right back down and play his music. Thank you. 
I got a little tongue tied there. Ooh, I haven't read that one in a while. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Nourish. I just love, I love your flow. I love the way you throw around words and just make it just seem so easy. Um, I love the second piece, this line, you said struggling to make some change. He's been trying to change. That just resounded in my spirit. Um, you know, uh, you, you're just, I, I don't think you know how good you are. Yeah. I really don't know how if you really understand how good you are with words and and you inspire me you know to keep you know to keep you know telling stories um you're definitely a master at telling stories so um wanted to pull up um Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mary. Go ahead. I'm on. Yeah, man. Like, this is a whole <laughs> show going on over here. This is my girl, Nourish. Like, we stood in, like, balconies looking over at other poets and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> and she has more courage than I do. And I'm in awe of her each and every time. Um, your poems come out with such a sweetness, a softness. But that softness is hard and it packs a punch. So what you're talking about is real life. Um, in one of those poems, every um, stanza was like connecting to a color, um, whether it was the person's lips, their fingertips, their mm -hmm. eyes, or um, the expressions that you were giving. But it just resounded in me and it was like the colors of life, like that's life. You know, we've all had those moments or we've experienced those moments or we've seen those moments in others. So I just like the calmness, the suave. You're, you're just like super suave. Like, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I, just, I see that. Um, Queen, thank you. <laughs> um, and thank you, Amira. Yeah, I, um, yeah, every day, like I will be on my way home and I'm just watching. I feel like man, like, what are these people's stories? Like, how did they get to this point in their life? Like, and I feel like for a lot of people, they're, they're automatically judged just because mm -hmm. they're homeless. Like these were, this was somebody's dad or somebody's brother, you know, you don't know what happened to get them to that point. And, you know, sometimes it's hard for people to pick themselves up. You know, some people don't have that support system, um, you know, and some people, they have no choice to resort to crime just to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that's what that story is, is about, you know, like they they have, you know, this history of doing, you know, these horrible things in, in their hands. They got scars on their knuckles, you know, but they had to feed themselves. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's their lifeline, how, how they get to or get the things that are a necessity and it's not necessarily mm -hmm. I'm just doing it just because I'm a criminal is what I need to survive. But James, you were going to bring something of nourishes up. Yes. I definitely wanted to bring up um, how they can, how the people can definitely support her. Um, this is her book of poetry, who shot the rose and you can get it right on amazon.com um or reach out to nourish on facebook they can reach out to you on facebook if they want yes to, sure you, facebook instagram all of that <laughs> and definitely you know us authors love to give you a signed copy of our book um it's one of our honors and achievements uh to give you a copy of that book but once again you can get your copy of who shot the rose Yes. Um, directly from Nourish Cruise or go right on Amazon.com. So I wanted to give the people that information. Mm -hmm. But um, thank you. Thank you. Thank Your you. First time on When People Speak, and you <laughs> just killed it. <laughs> we've been, we're not going to mention that we've been trying to get her on here for like. I know. I forgot what happened the other time, but I'm glad I made it this time. <laughs> hey, this time is the best time. So, you know, love your work, love yeah. you as a person, keep Likewise. doing what you're doing, okay. and many success in selling your book 
and can't wait for the next one as well. So yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, listen, Indeed. look out for um, some information regarding um, something I want to put together for women authors. You know, from when women speak, mm -hmm. I want to do that book tour thing with just women, where we go and sell our books and we speak our stuff and people buy our books. Okay, so yes. I'll reach out to you when I'm ready to start that tour. My last experience uh, when women speak, I will never forget that anybody who Mm. wants to go or have thought about it you definitely got to show up because it, it like that was everything everything like, the emotions were oh my god the stories were unbelievable like you people were really speaking from the heart and you definitely feel it some powerful powerful voices there absolutely it's a place for women but nourish thank you for coming on when people right. speak. we love you thank you love you too girl bye girl thank you bye. peace peace bye-bye bye Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Soft, petite, but pal, watch out. You've been smacked around when she's done. Indeed, indeed. Oh, Definitely. Um, she has a way with words. Yes, yes. Um, promote your business live on When People Speak. Our promo videos are 35 seconds that ran for three shows, and it's a good way to grow your business, support our platform at a low promotion fee. Remember, your business matters, and you can do that by emailing us at whenpeoplespeak at gmail.com. So support when people speak. Be a sponsor. Be part of the family. We know you're enjoying the show so far, and this is how you can show your support of when people speak. You can donate now at Cash App dollar sign Amira Shabazz so support the artists support the platform you are the ones that make this show possible so continue to allow more impactful inspiring shows by donating now